Honey's preservation power comes from three devastating weapons that work together to create an environment where bacteria simply cannot survive. It's like a triple-layered security system that would make Fort Knox jealous. Defense number one is water starvation. Remember how bees concentrated that nectar? The final product has so little available water that bacteria literally can't function. Scientists call this low water activity, and honey's level is so extreme that it's below the threshold where any harmful microorganism can survive. It's like trying to swim in a pool with no water, physically impossible. The sugar molecules are so densely packed that they bind up any available water molecules, leaving nothing for bacteria to use. Defense number two is chemical warfare. Bees add an enzyme called glucose oxidase to honey, which continuously produces hydrogen peroxide. Yes, the same stuff you use to clean wounds. This creates a slow-release antiseptic system that keeps killing potential invaders. But unlike the harsh hydrogen peroxide from your medicine cabinet, Honey's version is gentle enough to eat while being lethal to bacteria. It's like having a built-in disinfectant that never runs out. Defense number three is the acid attack. Honey's pH ranges from 3.4 to 6.1, making it quite acidic. Most bacteria prefer neutral environments, so this acidity is like forcing them to live in a hostile chemical bath. The combination of organic acids naturally present in honey creates an environment that's inhospitable to harmful microorganisms. Combined with the water starvation and chemical warfare, these three defenses create an environment so unfriendly to microbes that they don't stand a chance.